a lot on the line in the West. Seeding at stake, too, for the SEC tournament. And also in play, who's going to get a top eight national seed, perhaps? Yeah, I think everything's at stake tonight. You, you want to win the West, but for me, the most important thing is a national seed. With the SEC West race nearing its finish line, Captain Will Golson made it a point to give his ball club an early kick in this pivotal tussle. So a man on for Will Golson. Oh, maybe Will. The senior captain patrolling center field this year for the Rebels. This is hit a ton to left field. Back and gone. Get up, ball. Get up, ball. Watch him go up and get a barrel on that one. To Golson's credit, you know, guy leaves one out over the plate and it's a fastball that he elevated a little bit uh, and he was able to get his barrel to it. Pretty tough swinging 0-2, you know, you got to choke up, you got to expect anything. So, you know, I was just you know, trying to be quick, be short, you know, just happened to get a barrel to a fastball. Kicks delivers the pitch to Fortes. That one's rocketed left center field, pretty well stroke. Center fielder on the run, it's out of here. Solo shot just over the left center field wall. Cortez, home run number 11. Rebels lead 3 to nothing. First pitch fastball, DK. We have seen that be a good pitch for the Rebels tonight. Now, Golson's hit it hard twice. I mean, really hard. And he hits this on the screws into left. Dillard being waved around. The throw from Davis was in time, but they can't get the tag on him. But the thing about Will that I think is different this year than it has been in the past, even while he wasn't hitting for a great average, he was still close to leading us in RBI. So uh, while the average wasn't what we wanted or he wanted, he was still pretty productive if you look through deep into his stat line. The average has just continued to climb, and that's not an easy thing to do in this league is start out slow and then you get into league play and really tick up your average. But him and a couple other guys have done that. While the senior was taking care of Auburn at the plate, Rollison tamed the beast from the mound. But Ryan Rollison starts for Ole Miss. He could go in the first round next month. He's a draft-eligible sophomore left-hander. He's 6-4 and four with a 4.13 ERA. When he gets it going, he can really rack up the strikeouts. I think it was the first inning for me, just you know, coming out sharp, and you know, I could tell in the bullpen that you know my stuff was going to be you know uh, better than it was against South Carolina, and I was able to fill up the zone early and you know kind of get in a rhythm. And I think I retired the first six, so uh, you know I was just trying to get in a rhythm and uh, fill up the zone as much as I could. That's another one, two, three innings. So the first six Tigers set down in a row by Rollison. You know, being the ace of the staff, uh, you need somebody that can get deep into the game and you know save the bullpen for the rest of the weekend. So. You know, it's my job to get to the seventh, eighth inning and uh, you know, try to get some early contact to save that pitch count. Rollison comes set. One, two from the senior from San Diego. Throw in the dirt. Stolen base. Estes, nope, struck him out. Called strike three. Can I help you, sir? Get out there. Nah, just looking. As the Rebels have learned time and time again, in the SEC West, there's no such thing as an easy victory, as the Tigers would come roaring back. This is going to score a run. Jarvis scores, and it's 5-2. to two. The 3-2 to Williams. Back up the middle. Trouble, Kessinger. The throw is late and away. Two runs score. That's the beauty of the Southeastern Conference, is that every team is so good and it's such a fine line, a razor thin fine line on either side to be good or to be maybe not so good. And we've been on both sides of it. Going through that gauntlet for 10 straight weeks, it kind of seasons you, weathers you, you know, it thickens your skin. And I think there's not another league that prepares you for postseason, you know, more than the Southeastern Conference. With the Rebels reeling in the seventh, Coach Mike Bianco pulled the ace in his sleeve to stymie the uprising. He's been in the fire as much as anybody in the country as far as, you know, in the ninth inning, close games, you know, on the road, at home, uh, those pressure pack situations, and they never seem to face him. Runner goes, swung on a missed, and Caracy gets Ole Miss out of the inning, but Auburn scores three times. 
New ball game, seventh inning stretch. The underrated thing about Parker is, is the command, is to be able to throw the pitches that he wants in certain counts and be able to locate on both sides of the plate. You can't say enough about, you know, Parker. You know, I think what makes him special is, you know, he doesn't ride the emotional roller coaster of the game. You know, there's always going to be ups and downs, but he stays on that, you know, medium platform that, you know, makes him so good. 2-2 from Caracci. Just off the plate, full count. Uh, he just comes out every single day and works as hard as he can, and, you know, he locates his fastball in and out, which makes him so successful out there. Hey, starts. Is he on slider? Fastball off. Go to the bank with that. The one, two. Oh, there it is. Strike out. Slider, strike three. Yeah! Told you. Oh boy! Struck him out on a slider. Got him with a long swing again, and that ends the inning. How about this? Normally a smoke show, but I'm going to tell you, folks, that right there will hurt your feelings if you're standing in the box. Parker is. He, when he goes out there, you know he's going to get the job done. One ball, one strike to Holland. Gracie kicks, fires a pitch, swung on, ground ball to Kessinger. He'll glove, Gray steps and throws, and that's going to be it. The Ole Miss Rebels knock off the Auburn Tigers as number five beats number 16 in game one in a heck of a baseball game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. gets the save. Rawlison picks up another win on the year. He's now seven and four. Boy, Parker Caracci, what can you say? Two and a third, only one hit, no walkouts, and four strikeouts to pick up yet another save on the season. You know, it's tough when you give these out. You know, a lot of times we're split. You know, Colson with uh, you know big home run and RBI, Fortes, uh, another big home run. I think Keenan with a big double, um, but. Uh, you know, we needed somebody there to come in the seventh and put some zeros up. So, Mr. Caracci. We got to get ready for tomorrow. Enjoy this one. You got exams, right? So, take care. No? So, video, you're done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, too. <laughs> done. All right. And uh, get some rest tonight. Take care of one another. Look after one another. And then tomorrow, let's, let's get after them again. Nice job. Three, two, one. Reps. Just a really good day on the mound for Ryan Rawlson. Parker Gracie come in and just absolutely close it out like he always does. Offense got some runs early, just kept putting it on them like they usually do, and great win for the reps. So, see if we can do it again tomorrow.